Hi everyone, welcome back to Sally's Sweet Life. I'm your host Sally and today we are going to be looking at one particular pose that's a pretty cool party trick. <laughs> it's a balancing pose, it's a hand or arm balancing pose that we sometimes do in yoga. You may have heard of it called bird pose maybe crane pose or the traditional Sanskrit for this pose is called Bakasana. So basically what it is, is shifting all of your body weight onto your hands, which is a fantastic strengthening opportunity for your wrists, your arms, your shoulders, even into your abdominals. But it does require a fair amount of strength to be able to do that. So we're going to look at that today in different options and how do we increase the intensity and how do we back it off and to get your head all around the art of arm balances, which will help you with your head balances later on down the track. Oh, I know. Yeah, they're good fun, those things. Let's come on <laughs> down to the mat. Now, hang on a second. If you're not warm, if you want to do this with you and you're not warm, just press pause and check up in the eye. I'm going to put a little warm up there, a little 10 minute warm up, just like you would do at a gym, but it's a little yoga sun salutation warm up for you. So you'll be all ready for this particular session. And without further ado, let's get into it. So this pose is actually a bit of a test of faith. Uh, it's about encouraging you to lose your fear about falling over. <laughs> and the way that we do that, the way we start it off is to make sure that, I'm just gonna jump in here. Uh, you have to be in this position to start off and to come into Bakasana. So your feet are together, the toes are splayed, the ball of the foot is connected to the other ball of the foot, and, it, and you wanna get your heels together as well. So it's a really nice base. Then you're gonna put your hands on the floor in front of you, reflecting the width of your shoulders with your fingers spreading as wide as they possibly can. I'm gonna to jump to the side so you can see this one. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about where you need to look because if you look at your hands and your feet, can you see how that forms a triangle? So what we want to do is make that symmetrical and use your hands as the triangle, but then look forward at the peak of the triangle as in front. And that's where we, that's where we look. That's where our dristi, our gaze is. And if you look, and I've seen this a lot, when people look underneath, that's when they fall over. So the idea is to look forward, to keep yourself upright and to give yourself the best opportunity for success. We need everything we can with this one. All right, I've seen lots of different variations of this pose, but from my experience and what I can see is that the higher the knees are up the arm, the harder this pose is. So that's great for us, some of us who have been doing this pose for a little while and want a challenge. That's great. If we're still trying to just get our feet off the ground, come low, come low, but you know, not down here at the floor, <laughs> around the knees. So I'll just show you where the knee crease is here, try and put your elbow right into that crease, okay? That's the easiest point that I can feel is going on for this really hard pose. <laughs> so we're looking forward and I'm just going to, I'm gonna use that easier one option first of all. I'm gonna look forward and all of the weight at the moment is in my feet, can you see that? And all I'm gonna do is keep looking forward and shift and squeeze at the elbows until I can feel like the weight is so beautifully in my hands that my feet just kind of lift off the floor when I want them to. That's essentially just how we do it. Now, let's go back to talking about the knees again. I prefer, rather than down low for me, I prefer to put them on top of the back of the arm because once you ride up above the knee, you can kind of do that instead of squeezing in with the knees, you can place them on top 
almost like, and so that there's no pressure there, but it's essentially the same thing. So there's this huge amount of pulling in with the abdominals. I'm just looking forward still, and I can feel the weight in the heel of the hand as I press it a little bit more forward to get both feet off the ground. And then once you've done that, come down, relax your wrists for a little bit, and then maybe try again for a little bit longer. Whew, great for the abdominals, right? Beautiful stretch through the rhomboids and into actually the, uh, one of the third portions of the trapezius. So it's really nice through the back. Can I show you just another pose real quick that you might like to have a try of? It's so funny. This one is called Ugly Asana, right? And this one is easier because I'm not just, I'm not on my hands and we're going to do the whole thing on the forearms. It looks a little bit like this. You feel like you're gonna face plant big time and you're about that much off from the mat. So just be prepared for that. I'm gonna start the same in my crane posture, my bird posture, but this time I'm gonna drop the elbows down. I'm still going to look forward. I don't think I even breathed then. <laughs> so I'm just coming forward and holding and scooping everything and up, but it's a far more achievable base through the arm and right down to the elbow. Ugly asana. Wow. <laughs> Keep trying. It's just a matter of you uh, being able to teeter the weight from your feet perfectly into the hands without going forward. A couple of things you do not want to do in any head balance or arm balancing is jump into it or kick into it because you overshoot, okay? So it's just about teaching your body how to transfer the weight with a little bit of control. <laughs> it's pretty good fun once you've got it. I hope that cleared anything up uh, for you and that you're more able to be able to approach this fabulous and fun pose with a little bit more confidence. I hope to see you again in another one of these wonderful yoga files sessions. Thanks for coming. Bye.